the idea was a group of parents, mostly along Lake, Lakewood Lane in Marquette. Um, they got together and decided that they wanted something for the kids indoors all year round that would be educational. The Kellogg Foundation was in the community. They'd chosen three parts of Michigan, a downtown place in Detroit, a rural place they called in Battle Creek, and this was then termed a remote place, so Marquette, Alger Counties. So people went on seminars through the Kellogg Foundation. Nina Weirichner was the director then chosen, and that was 1992. Uh, 1993, end of, end of 92 to 93, the group bought this building for $400,000. Uh, a huge old warehouse that was more or less written off as a storage place, but nothing in it. Pool wires to, to switch lights on. Uh, tar flooring, a uh, very old place, five buildings in one. And so for the next four and a half years, uh, we renovated and asked people what we should have here. And we have a program called Designosaurus. It's still going. I'm running a Designosaurus now called Restorosaurus. Uh, on Monday and Tuesday next week, I work with some Central American students about how they would design something. So designing from scratch has been our real deal here our thing that sets us apart in the industry. So downstairs in the museum halls, you will find things that you won't find anywhere else in children's museums. So although we call ourselves a children's museum, we don't look like the other children's museums in Michigan or the rest of the country. Basically, we couldn't afford it. So our children became the consultants. That took one line item out. Uh, but the kids came up with, what do we want to play with? And we said, do you want to play with groundwater and water purity? has become more and more relevant as the years have gone by and they said yeah so we said well let's go visit so we went to the maritime museum we went to the water treatment plant we went to the landfill we talked about things that pollute water and two boys nine-year-olds from all that group of 30 they came up with an idea to flush parents down the toilet and lo and behold we have that we flush parents down the toilet we flush kids down the toilet uh we went to two hospitals and we asked about healthy bodies and a little girl flicked paint inside a shoebox with craft sticks and I said, what are you doing? She said, they're the ribs. You have to build a room that's inside a rib cage. And we have it. So we have the incredible journey where you go into the head and slide down the tongue and you crawl through the heart. Uh, you get into the stomach, climb up to the du duodenum and you slide down 22 feet of small intestine. It's a slide, but it's got a red button at the bottom that farts. <coughs> and that makes it fun. But you're learning. So they're learning about groundwater. They're learning about the inside of a body. They're learning about healthy things without anybody really thumping the words into their brains yet. They're learning the need to know it, probably. And they're learning it with gross, gross motor skills. They're learning it by going and running and enjoying themselves. We opened the first hall in March 97, uh, second one in 98, third one in 99, and then finally the incredible journey in 2001. So now we have four exhibit halls. We do about 30, 35,000 guests a year something like 400 uh, birthday parties and at least, um, let me think, 50 sleepovers a year. I've got one tomorrow night where people come in and use the museum, switch the lights off, sleep anywhere they can throw a sleeping bag. And uh, it's not just kids anymore. The animals are all owned by other people who house them here. So we don't own those animals. We have a variety of animals. The thing for me about animals is kids want to explore what they are. And sometimes if you can put something in their hand or in their eyes to show them, they can find out what they're not. When we put a snake into kids' hands, they're not the snake. They have legs, but they do eat. But it takes 24 hours to digest it instead of a snake's 48 hours to digest its food. And they only eat once a week, whereas do we eat every day. And so they're always remarking about themselves when they they hold different animals that are different from them. So we hold lots of reptiles. We have lots of turtles. Um, we have a tree frog. We have frogs and fish in a girl's bathroom window. I don't know. I don't know. I've never never answered that question. Um, I th the answer I'd like to give is the people inside it, because I don't think it's the um, plaster and the wood that makes the museum work. I think it's the people who work here.